Hey everyone. Hello everyone. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Let us know if you can actually see us. Or hear us. <laughs> and hear us, yes. Um, I do have a suspicion not. Is this the right stream? Oh, no, it, it is the right yeah, stream. Okay. Good news. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Anyway, um, happy Wednesday to you all. And to you. <laughs> yes, Wednesday. Yes, a Wednesday live stream is the order of the day. Yeah, this is the second time we do it on Wednesday. Why are we doing it on Wednesday? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. No, we had to the last time and then it seemed like it was all right. So I Wednesday think, it is. Yeah, we're rescheduled. <laughs> yeah. Um, today we'll be yes. coding a... Wait for it. No. Well. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I think we had some network latency there. <laughs> yes. Bean poon. A quote generator. Aha. Uh -huh. Which will spew out a quote for all of your moods. Well, maybe not all of them, but many of them. All of what? My moods? Yes, your moods. One's moods, not oh, specifically okay. yours. <laughs> okay. Yes. So that's um, what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. But first, Say hello in the chat. Hey. Let me know where you're tuning on in from. Ooh, Abdus. Hello to you. Yes. All right. We like to do a weekly poll here, <laughs> which is, if you are new here, please put a bunny rabbit into that chat. Yes. And if you've been before, hit me with that tiger. Correct. We don't use this information. It's just for fun. Yes. Um, so. So, <laughs> yeah, what do we actually do here? It, what we do here is, well, firstly, let's run through what we actually have in the code already. Yes. Not that much. Um, I've yeah. used a section with a class of that. And okay. there's a P which is currently empty. It has an ID of quote mm -hmm. and an inventively named button called, um, with an ID, generate button. Okay. Here you go. Uh, nice rainbow button which will generate a random quote. Currently, it does nothing. It's nothing. Um, CSS-wise, the usual flexbox centering the app. I have put a uh, min height on the quote paragraph mm -hmm. um, because, to show you this, oh, so when it's empty, I guess that makes sense. When it's empty, it doesn't render at all. Did I know that? Probably. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, the reason for that is some quotes are longer than others. And what we don't want is people pressing generate random quote and then the button jumping up and down. Ah. Yes. So that will prevent that. I will demonstrate that a bit further on when we have our AS up and running. Speaking of which, we have some quotes. We do have quotes. <laughs> it's an array of objects mm -hmm. because each quote has a corresponding mood. I'll explain why in a minute. Mm -hmm. And then just grabbing the elements, um, like grabbing the paragraph. I mean, really, that should be quote paragraph. Yeah. Um, and grabbing the button. And then this is a currently empty function, which will mm -hmm. run when we hit that. Yes. I mean, I guess it is running, it just doesn't do anything. Correct. <laughs> to do's. First to do, render a random quote on the button, click. So any of these quotes. Yeah. And then, what I would like is for the user to be able to select their current mood from the moods available in the quotes array. Okay. Angry, lost, sad, unmotivated, etc. And then reveal um, the most appropriate quote for that. <laughs> yes. So those are the, the first to do's. Probably we'll do a bit more after that. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Oh, hello to you all. Saying hello in the chat. Hey. Hello from Ecuador. Ooh, what's the weather like in Ecuador? Very nice. <laughs> hello. Oh, look, a bunny rabbit. Welcome. Hakan says, hey, have a good coding. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of tigers as well. And Gina, our bootcamp code reviewer. Um, yes, if you're wondering what I mean by that, we have a bootcamp at Scrimba. And part of joining up in the bootcamp is that you get regular code reviews. Yes. Super useful and amazing. Get your projects reviewed. Some of them from Gina. So go and check that out if it sounds like it's up your street. Hello to you all. Rainbow button on fire. Yes. <laughs> I like the rainbow button too. <laughs> Hello from the pool. Hello. What's your name? Huh. Yeah. My name's Leanne. And this is Michael. Yes. <laughs> we never say that, do we? We just assume everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we stopped saying that. Uh, yeah, for a bit. <laughs> Hello from Penny. Love our code bootcamp students. Yes, they are awesome. Um, also, this uh, starter code, soon to be hopefully finished code, will be available in the chat. So you can either code along, or if you're watching this in the future, you can check out the finished article. Mm -hmm. Hello from the past, in that case. Yes. So, Michael, over to you. What do you reckon? Ah, uh, well, uh, I'm kind of looking over this. Uh, I have a little bit of a question about a render a button for each mood. So I suppose like the render, a random part and the mood part are kind of separate, right? Yeah. So yeah. random is any of the quotes. Yeah, so uh, random is any of the quotes, but if you have a mood selector, then you kind of go f give the quote for that mood. That's it. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, well, fair enough. Then that should be fairly straightforward. That Famous last words. Yes. Um, so in that case, on click of our button, we need to go into these quotes and grab one of them. So for a start, let's just have a look. Oh, at... look, there's one comma too many on the end there. Oh, that's right. Is it? Yeah, yeah uh, some people actually call it trailing commas, and you, well, some people actually prefer it, because if you need to add a new one, you don't mm -hmm. have to go on the previous line, you just hit enter and then add a new one. So Does you don't break to... things to have that there? No. Yeah, that's good then. <laughs> well, depends. Like, depends on, on applications. For example, if you go to Mongo database, it does not like you to yeah, do that. I've seen that. Uh, so they do on fours strict uh, look and stuff. So how many how many of these do we have? Quotes dot lens. Uh, yes. Okay, fair enough. So in that case, on six, what we want to do is just we want to say um, quote paragraph dot uh, in a text equals, and we'll just say quote quotes and pick the first one and then put quote right so that should work it does <laughs> so press it again why is there bubbles why is there no ending quote oh i think you could just type it in no what just happened oh no Ah. Oh, this eternal problem with quotation marks. All right, so you just go with these. That works. Uh, okay, I should do it. Okay, cool. Uh, so we do that, and if I click that again, well, it always does it. Because you put the zero, so it, it's going to be the same. Yeah, one. yeah, because it always replaces it. Okay. Okay, so now I need to do something I can never remember. Generate <laughs> random number JS. Uh, math floor, math at random. That's it. I just refuse to commit to my memory. 
My yeah, I don't know why. I struggle with it as well. Ah, but between one and ten, yeah, why not? Let's say between one and ten. Generate random, random. Oh, okay. And you need to multiply it by the top. Okay, so which means what? Uh, multiply by uh, coins dot length. Quotes, quotes. Okay, one this, the looks like that works, right? So, yeah, Boy, yeah, never forget that. Bubbles, bubbles, the way there's no angry way to say bubbles. Oh, it said one day, uh, I think I, I've seen this one, so that means that we are hitting the last one. I say that sometimes. One day this will be funny. Do you? Well, I think it. <laughs> oh, yeah, just, just saw it just now. Anyway, uh, cool. So that's, that's the random quote. Also, I probably will remove this red thing. Ah, what you were saying, I think. What was that? You said min quote, min height? Yes. So if you, I'm not sure if any of the quotes that are still Okay, so we don't need the red part. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, if the quotes were longer, it would become a problem. Take my word for it, okay? <laughs> yeah, you can repeat that one. Nice. Woo. Yeah, so this Sorry, is what I mean button. about the jumping button problem. Yeah, the jumping button. Nobody wants that. No. You can solve it with a minimum height. That might be a bit too big, actually. Could do like 40. Yeah. And uh, no, it doesn't. Nice cool. to hear that. Hello from Ukraine. Hey. Okay. Hello to you. And hello to everyone else. Greater Boston, Sri Lanka, Algeria. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you all here. Yes. Uh, okay, so now, as you have the random button gone, let's go for... You're saying that now we want to have like a selector. Yeah, we need to render for each mood a button with the name of that mood in it. But then, here's the trick. If we had a mood, or more than one, we don't want two buttons. If there were two sad ones, for example. Well, wouldn't you have... <laughs> Actually, you are. Uh, HTML drop down. Yeah. Wouldn't you have some kind of select? You could. So, just kind of prototype in it. Let's have, let's just grab, put a select in here. Um, but how do I make it look like this uh, button? Mm, I don't think you would want a select to look like that, would you? That well, would like, very confusing. yeah, I want it to be around it and rainbowy. Where's the button? Yeah, so if I do select, yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. From a UX perspective, I'm not sure that's great, but we'll go with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. Wow. Well, uh, look at me, CSS wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. Right, yeah, well, there we are. Uh, cool. Um, Nailed it. Nailed it, exactly, <laughs> thank you. Mood, uh, and I'll probably go for it also, uh, because, let's be honest. Emoji, that's how, that's how people feel nowadays, you know. You, nobody feels with words. Oh, yeah. You feel with emojis. That's a good point, actually. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I think it will really make it pop. 
Michael, you are a CSS wizard. <laughs> Wiz. Great. Yeah. Loud it. Yeah, for everyone new here, uh, I am pretty well known for being atrocious at CSS. <laughs> You're not atrocious. You uh, I am pretty it. bad. I'm pretty bad. Like, my skills of CSS is usually, like, if there is CSS there, I will try to somehow work it or, like, copy-paste and stuff. Yeah, so how do you say it lost with emoji? Compass. But surely if you had a compass, you wouldn't be lost. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> it's fine. Let's not get hung up on these things. No, you know, let, let's see. Maybe what, what the chat the can suggest what's yeah, the what best the, one. What's the emoji for being lost? Or oh, melted face. I would say that's overwhelmed. Is it? It's fine. Let's go with it. Okay. Well, At least sad is easy. Yeah. Khan says the master of front end. Okay. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to writing JavaScript for the front end, I actually, yeah, I'm all right. But as soon as somebody goes like, oh, Michael, this this thing can we can you move it to the left a little bit and i'm like i need a week to fix that <laughs> becca suggests this one the shrug for lost which i think sounds like a good idea mm, interesting shrug there we go oh, let's do that sad the one with like loads of tears yeah that <laughs> sad Unmotivated. The yawn? Oh no, because then you'll start yawning. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Sleep. It's okay. No, I'll, really I'll hold sorry. the fort, Michael. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Every time someone keeps talking about sleeping or yawning, it makes me yawn. Panicked can be the scream cat. And despairing. Well, what could be despairing? Pumpkin. Cat. It's, a, it's an Easter egg. <laughs> Consider it an Easter egg uh, because we, well, the way our cat, our, we have a cat, his name is Pumpkin, and he likes to yawn and also he likes to meow in like a very despairing way. Kind of like when he's fed up, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> he does. So we call him despairing. Despairing Pumpkin. Yes. Yes. Hence why the emoji. It's kind of, you know, some scrimba, scrimba law for you. Because, uh, oh yeah, obviously, uh, scrimba. Uh, do, 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 about us. Do, 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 there we go, that's Pumpkin. This is him. Oh, there he is, yes. Uh, okay. So now I need on the load of the page... I need to basically grab that selector and populate it with those emoji options. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so select. I think buttons would be better, but never mind. Oh, I don't like buttons because there'll be too many of them. Mood selector. Uh, that needs to be a class. Or an ID. Oh, yeah. So now we go for const mood selector equals document get element by ID with selector. And then we go for what is it? Quotes. Close dot for each quote mm -hmm. quote dot uh, ah so let's create const option equals uh, document create element yeah yeah oh, cool create element uh, oh, no, not option that. Is that what it's called? Uh, yeah. Yeah, option. Maybe this will work. 
value, actual value. Ooh, I, ooh, yes, yes. Okay, we go. So. Yeah, then you can set. Um, what do you call it? Set attribute. Or oh, actually, you know what? Let's let's make a quick hack, and then we can probably const option equals. Training and compilation, HTML thing. Get rid of display text one. <laughs> yes, I'll be emoji. Okay. Ah, no, 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 sorry. Quote dot mm. emoji, yes. Yeah. Um, Which would also be the value, I think. But the value we will need to look up the quote by uh, and I think you can use emoji to look it up by but mm -hmm. let, let's use Sounds the word like it might be messy yeah mood would probably be better then so you can use the actual value would be mood uh, we can test it with the emoji in a minute see what happens right and then we basically say mood selector dot Inner HTML plus equals okay okay <laughs> not entirely sure why yeah. this is here or why uh, anyway let's solve one by one so we have display text one two three uh, that's easy to sort. <laughs> Okay, right. Yes, okay, sounds good. Okay, that's that's easy to sort out. Okay, we'll remove that. <laughs> cool. Okay, now we have that. Now we have these weird things. I don't know what they are. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so... Because, <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> because I don't know what they are, I'll just bring this thing back. Also, just so the angry one does not have that, but this one does. The shrug, I think all of them did apart from the angry one. Yeah, the shrug have like two. So I think that? that's because it's um, one of them would be the skin color of it does that. Interesting. Because when you have emojis which are made of skin colors, they're actually kind of two emojis mm -hmm. merged Multiple into ones. one. But I don't know why it's doing it with. The, like that crying face. So if I actually just insert that, that makes no difference. Yeah. Did you just do trimming the first character? I'll just quickly console log the actual emoji to see if there is a dot emoji. Oh, look at that. So actually, when I'm console login, it's already appearing there. Mm. So it's already... What does it tell you when you ask it um, how many characters it is? Nine. That doesn't seem right. So maybe... Hang on. But uh, in any let case, me just test. Right. Let me just test it because I copied the actual face, but what if... This is something like when you input this from a Mac uh, thing. It's the same. Okay. No, no mind. I think we can just tell it that we want the first character. Trim? Some empty space, you mean? No. The first character. No, yes. Yeah, only run the first. Well, the first character is basically. Character yeah. I think it well, it's a Unicode. I don't think that will work. Hmm. Okay. JS. Question mark. Next to emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. 
Why is my emoji showing up as a question mark? Mm, Explain emojis renders question. I might have a solution. Question marks after it. Go on. Instead of putting the emojis into the JS, maybe we should put the actual Unicode codes. Ah, so maybe, oh, look, see, that, that's kind of, I think that's what somebody's mm, yeah, saying. Yeah, that looks yeah. like it. But they are taking a substring. I figured out that the substring was messing everything up, so I did this. Mm, maybe not. The emoji in string gets written as a question mark. Ah, this string has a question. Okay. For me, initial attempts to put in color emojis and could not get it working. We don't have it here. I think this is pretty old. Yeah, 2016. Hmm. Idea from Becca. Chat GPT says. <laughs> oh, oh no. You can try using the JavaScript function encode URI component to encode the emojis before displaying them, which should ensure that the emojis are displayed correctly in the browser. Whoa. Yes. Hmm. Oh my god. Our AI overlords might have actually might actually know what they're talking about. They might do. Encode your right component. I mean, okay, yes. Encode your right component. And the end dots. Yeah. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> uh, well, okay. I don't know, Becca. Looks like ChatGPT might not know that part. Is that 3.5 or 4? <laughs> Well, I guess we have to then re-encode it. That's actually worked. No, that's uh, yeah. that's hard-coded wide. So then what if... Okay. <laughs> I think that actually... Yeah. No, but what we've done is we've encoded it. Yeah, yeah. So, so now we need we to, to decode get it? it out. Yeah. Can I just... Excuse me. Thank you. What is that? Ah, oh, now I have some. Pomodoro. Yeah. Yesterday, Pomofocus went down for a while. It was terrible. Oh, no. I was lost. <laughs> Emoji trends question marks in Google Chrome 5. Okay. Encode. Oh, look. Well, there you go. Somebody is like saying, oh. in GitHub. Yeah. When I inspect the element, it shows up fine. More details. Uh, Okay, still showing this question mark. Okay, so I need to scroll down until people start reacting to say like this has fixed it. Uh, no, it's like found it. The issue is word wrap break word. Really? What does that mean? Let's see. As soon okay. as I remove that, it rendered just fine. So, okay, I'm very skeptical of this, but if we go to the CSS file and put option. No, but they say that they have removed it. Removed it? Yeah, so as soon as I remove that, it rendered just fine. Oh, well, in that case, I don't think that's applicable to us because we don't have that. What does the console say now? What does the console say now? Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I actually don't know. Well, we are console logging, but we're not actually encoding that. So, I suppose we can. Your right component. Emoji, okay. Yeah, so you basically get the uncoded URL part. Decode URL. Look, there's a decode URI. I think we need to do that. 
with this string. Yeah. I guess we need to encode it at some point and then decode it before we render it. So like that? Oh, you encode yeah. it and then no, you that's decode what it. Becca says as well. No, well you still get a question mark. Okay, yeah. Chat so, GPT says, <laughs> if you're using the encoder string in a URL, in a URL, um, make sure you decode it using the decode URI component function before using it. I think that is what we've got to do, Mike. Yeah, but that's, uh, hang on. I think we should encode them on page load. No, that's, hmm. Can I just console log, let me just console log the quote. So it does appear like that already in the object. Oh, that's okay. Ah, look at that. So if I remove this emoji, like I click backspace once, it changes to a different one. I click backspace again, it changes to something else. Yeah. I think one of them is the gender and one of them is the skin tone. But I don't know why it's doing it with the prying one. All right. Huh. Have you set this in the HTML head? I don't believe we have. Oh, actually, that might. Let's put that in then. That is actually a very good call. Imagine if that fixes it. That would be nice. Uh, do I close meta tag? So. Okay, error, no error. No, you actually don't. Uh, shrug. I said not. Error, no error. I'm not entirely sure where I started getting that from, but. Is it close by that? Okay. It's something to do with that chart set. Uh, you're saying I don't close it. No, but I think we should give it a Google just to check it's the right one. <laughs> Meta tag HTML, that's fine. Uh, okay, no, you don't. Content language viewport. Yeah, okay, so that should do it. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, so in that case, there should be an error somewhere in my JavaScript. I'll remove uncode your right component just to see what's up. See in the console. Yeah. Could not pass. Dependencies in index.js. I feel like this might be fixed with a refresh. Possibly. Let's copy, copy it first. Too late. Oh, yeah. Oh, not so all these cat. Ugh. Sorry, cat. Give it a go back. Oh yeah, look, so now they have, could this be a Scrimba thing? I mean, we've used emojis a lot in Scrimba. I do wonder if it's just a browser thing. Could be, oh, actually. I think I had a double quote. Oh, there. really? Oh, yeah. Now look, on the sad one, there's 
Yeah. Okay. And... <laughs> uh, was it panic? Sleep. Yep. Okay. Invalid mm -hmm. or unexpected token. Yay, we have a new error. Yes, good. Syntax error, invalid or unexpected token, but where? And let's go for that. Expected, no, is that? <laughs> Expected closing curly bracket, but found cat. Yeah, but oh, found. No. <laughs> but found that. No result. Okay, let me just copy that again and then just try to refresh it. Nope, still there. Blah. Yeah, but I think it's here, no? Yeah. Oh, well, they're back. Okay. I think, I, okay, I think they're gone. Yes. Hey. And they've actually read it. Okay, so I think meta charts at UTF-8 is what's done it. Do you? Uh, yeah, I think that's actually what's so done what it. So what does that actually do again? Uh, basically tells that HTML page that the characters are UTF-8s, and then it will render them correctly. Should we comment it out to see what happens? Okay, maybe not that. Maybe not. It's still important to have that. Ah, Bill, yay! It might be a scrimper thing. It might be. Setter. It might be a scrimper thing. Is it possible know. to store the emojis code in the object and then decode it? Possibly. Uh, emoji. Oh, we could have used the, yes. Um, so emoji. These things. But anyway, it's working now. Uh, yes. So you can. Oh yeah, that's what. You can grab like the UTF-8 code. Look, Smogus helpfully has found the ones for us. Oh wow! Oh, wow, no. you are clearly far less lazy than I am. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Oh, wow. Nice one. UTF-8 is the default. Oh, so it shouldn't be that. Yeah, it's probably something... Hey, it's a mystery. Yeah, never mind. But it's working now, so let's continue with our to-dos. So what's the next to-do? I actually have forgot. Render a button for each move, so I think I've done that. Uh, and render the random quote. Yeah, see? Look at that. Perfect. Yay. <laughs> right. Uh, I also feel like we should. We can probably set uh, like min min width. So it's the same as the other button. Yeah. Um, I think that's a good idea. I think it needs to be bigger than that. Really? Like four hundred. Why? If you want it to be the same, well, <laughs> the same as that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll be. Okay, cool. Lovely. Uh, which means that now, if I just go to the actual, I can probably console log very quickly. Console log option. Or we don't really need to console out the option. We can actually just open the thing. What are you doing now? So I want to show that on the select, you actually there go. So you have an emoji inside, and you have that mood, angry, lost, whatever. Oh, the values. Yeah, that's right. So now I think all I need to do is add mood selector. Add 
Had event listener. Mm-hmm. Now I think the event select tag event listener is called like select. Is it click? It might be change. On change. Uh huh. So maybe it is. And yes, add event listener change. Um, select input. <laughs> Somebody said <laughs> Internet Explorer support. Luckily, you don't have to worry about that. Yay, that's worth celebrating. Yes. But whoever wrote this on the 5th of July of 2011. Well, I feel even you. back in 2011, Internet Explorer was a pain. I feel you. Was it ever wow. not a pain? Probably when it came out, it was pretty good. I had many a miserable afternoon building workarounds for IE. Yeah. So. <laughs> you know that meme where there's like next to IE's grave celebrating the oh, right. browsers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so basically, I need to now add a function to it on the change. I think you can use. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Um... Yeah, change will do. Is it event.target.value? If I want to see. Uh, okay, I don't need to. So if I pick that. Sad. Sad. There you go. So. What we want. <laughs> we don't want to be sad. Well, no. Unmotivated. Despairing. Is this like British weather or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So I feel like if you're happy, you don't really go on the internet looking for quotes. <laughs> I guess not. No. Quotes to celebrate. Maybe you do. We can add some fun ones. Yeah. So, uh, and from the quote, we can then pick. Well, basically, we now have this array of objects. So we now need to find where mood key equals the value yes uh so ooh, how would i do how would you do that that would be Jira us. every is the screen going to be posted anywhere as a file in fact it already is in the description of this um stream whoa yeah i know super automated um what is it so Again, you want something. to look up the quote from array objects find value. I always have to pickle this as well. I feel like we did this with the chat hat the other week. Ah, there you go. So find is your method. Could have guessed that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Could have guessed that. So that would be. Sometimes JS is really obvious, and then sometimes it's really not, and you never know which one it's going to be. Yep. Quote not find. So, and um, I'm looking for a quote where quote dot mood equals event target value. Okay. And once I do once. Oh, so find returns the quote. In which case, then all I need to do is just say put paragraph dot inner text text equals quote. Ah, uh, good old object, object. <laughs> Don't you love that? Quote, dot, <laughs> quote. Yes. No. Whoops. Ah, oh, what? Okay, refresh. There we go. Yay! Whee! That has worked. Object, object. Always there. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. I think that's... But we um, should fix our, hmm, we've used inner HTML, which is a bit of a no-no. Well, I mean, if you're in control of this, you can use it. But if you 
get this from API, then you obviously need to, that's right, you need to rewrite this. In React, it's called, what is it? Dangerously render HTMLs. <laughs> Dangerously set in it. <laughs> they HTML, really yeah. don't want you to use it. So no. instead, you can use create element and append. Well, they kind of, they don't want you to, it's not that they don't want you to use it. They want to know that you can shoot yourself in the foot big time if you use it. Big time. Yeah. So if you are not, you know, crafting this stuff yourself, if you actually get the quotes from some API, then you have to, yeah, do not do inner HTML. I think it's best to avoid it anyway. Yeah. Cross-site scripting attack. XSS. If anyone is interesting, that's where you can look up. Section. Or ask ChatGTP. <laughs> GPT. That thing. Shaq Sam says, my voice is like IVR. At first I thought it said IVF. But then it says <laughs> it says IVR, which apparently means interactive voice response. So basically you sound like Siri. I guess the English version of Siri, yeah. Oh, I was so annoyed the other day. On Waze. Ever since I started using it, I had the Terminator voice, but they've discontinued it. And it suddenly oh, no. changed to this like whiny voice. Oh no. I'm so sad. Yeah. Oh, somebody actually speaking of Siri or something, I think I saw a teacher once saying that she all of a sudden realized that uh, she's teaching a completely new generation when she, she's used to kids calling her mom and stuff. But this time around, one kid called her Alexa. <laughs> and then that's when she realized the, the, you know, the new times have come. Wow. <laughs> Call, calling your teacher Alexa is quite, that's quite funny. That's scary. <laughs> anyway, creating elements. Yes. Mm. Create. I think it's option, in which case option. I'm God. feeling this is going to be difficult because it's attributes. No, it's some um, set attribute. I think set attribute value. Put mood. Option dot in a text equals quote emoji. Okay. Uh, For now we need select hmm. mode selector dot append child option. Oh, okay. Yeah. That should work. That has, okay, just to. Yeah, that, that has worked. worked. Yes, that has worked. Yay. Oh, it worked first time. What's up? And yeah, well, now we have all dues done. What else can we do? Um, well, um, Becca has a, apparently asked Chat GPT about us. Leanne and Michael, what a team on Scrimba. They reign supreme with skills and knowledge to amaze. Their teaching sets our minds ablaze. Wow. Well, uh, at least yeah. ChatGPT is positive about us. That's good, I guess. Ah, I have <laughs> actually asked ChatGPT, what do you know about me? And uh, it said, like, yeah. uh, uh, I have been trained before 2021, and this person had insignificant footprint or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, it tells, like, I have no idea who this guy is because he's a nobody. And you know what? Good nothing word. nothing actually made me happy. I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah, that's good news. Yeah, Skynet does not know about me yet. Sachan says, it's a cute voice. Thank you. Um, there was a question earlier. I'm currently studying in bachelor first year. Tell mm -hmm. me a roadmap so that I can succeed in the field. The field presumably well, being front-end development. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do well, you want to do? Luckily, I think, you know, we have <laughs> the Scrimba yes. career path to help with that. Oh, my word. Shameless plug. This should teach you everything you want or need to know to become a front end developer. Yes. But what if you want to be a back end developer? 
Well, that's a question for you, Michael. What's that thing? Is it? Oh, I was hoping that you're going to say, and we have a backend. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> One day. Yes. Roadmap.sh, is it? Yes. Backend. Now, obviously, this looks kind of overwhelming, but you should think of it as a menu rather than a prescription of absolutely everything you need to learn. Yeah, and also they're not, I wouldn't learn them in this order because it's like learning. I would, I would probably start with writing code things first and then learn these topics as you write code mm. rather than, you know, just like learn what, DNS is and internet and stuff like that before you actually wrote anything. So you probably, Rust. yeah, so you probably would go from like a language to then something like OS general knowledge. Yes, yeah, so you would pick a language, something like learn a little bit of a database. Um, you know, write an API. I mean, where is an API here? Oh, learn about APIs. Well, that's quite all the way here. And then architectural patterns. And I have to admit, a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff would be useful to know. And you probably would know by year three, five. But you wouldn't need to know all of this to get your first job. No. And a lot of it you would learn on the job, I suspect. Yeah, no, no in here. I would say, like, uh, you might need to know a little bit of everything. Yeah. Probably. So it's like, you know, if somebody is asking you about testing, you would be able to explain basics. Um, but obviously, nobody expects you to know nitty gritty about it. Like when people expect you HTTP, what's the difference with HTTPS? Uh, course errors, everyone has to Google them. <laughs> uh, but still, it's useful to know what they are. Yeah, you don't need to memorize all of them, just mm. to have a concept of what they are. And I have to admit, like, you know, when people say architectural patterns, like microservices, I'm yet to meet a person who, it, it's a very academic uh, subject. A lot of people, you know, debate the details. But for you, as somebody who's looking for a job, you might want to know, you know, what's the what's the basic of the, uh, what's the basis for the argument? That kind of stuff. No, not the argument, but, you know, people like to discuss, you know, how to do things. A little bit better. Apps. Yeah, um, exactly. Is DSA us in web dev company or is it skip? It depends on the company. DSA being um, uh, data structures and algorithms. Thank you. I always forget that. Uh, Have you actually ever had an algorithm question in an interview? Yes, but not like a CS algorithm question. Uh, it was mostly like uh, <laughs> well, it was mostly like a, a more applicable algorithm. Like for example, we have problem X. Uh, how would you solve it? But if you think about problem X, you will all of a sudden realize that actually it maps out somewhat closely to a computer science algorithm. Uh, but generally, you know, people try to avoid um, making you memorize a lot of algorithms. And if they don't, you. you should tell them to. Um, again, depends on the job. Leave. But yeah. Um, <laughs> Here's a, a you know, trick. If, if your job is like, you know, you're trying to be a JavaScript contractor who builds e commerce websites and they ask you like really academic subjects, then you probably should question their ability to interview. Yes. Yeah. There isn't a button for it, but you can type. Topic equals algorithms into Scrimba and the algorithm hacks. <laughs> courses come up. There's some other ones. UI. Yeah. Secret ones. Secret topics. <laughs> you can find out. See, the Scrimba secrets that you can only find out on live stream. I need to learn proper testing. Um, I don't think there is a testing one. There should be. Maybe I, should I think there is it. a testing course, but there, there is, is a no testing course, but I don't think there's button. a, a testing. tag for it. But you'll find it in the other section. Yes, I think it's like test. there we go. There you go. Introduction to unit testing. Zeta, Have fun. is it a good idea to suggest Scrimba, Scrimba to someone who has zero programming knowledge? Yes, absolutely, it is. Yes, um, many of our courses are suitable for beginners. Yes, um, you can check out on the course cards the ones that say beginner. So, absolutely. Yeah, I think you can uh, go for filter. 
Oh yeah, you so, actually can. All topics. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> filter, filter levels, beginner. There you go. Bam. That's there you go. Uh, and you can go for HTML and JavaScript. So you know, if you're looking for a free course, and uh, there is also Ken Powell's course. Um, but yeah, we would obviously recommend go for a pro. And then you won't even have to think about what to do. So yeah, there you go. It's, it's all there. there for you. Anyway. All of this is very interesting, actually, because <laughs> it's not up on YouTube yet. But in a couple of weeks, we will be having a tech career chat Ooh, on yes. the live stream. You can ask Michael here, senior developer. Um, oh, yeah. I think, again, we forgot to mention our names. Uh, so. I mean, there's on the screen. Yes. Oh, I mean, true. <laughs> <laughs> to those of you uh, who are new, yes, uh, Leanne, you are. I'm, I'm Leanne. Yes. Yeah. Well, what do you do? Oh, I work at Scrumba. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Various uh, things, including live streams. Yes, and I do live streams on Scrumba. I don't work for Scrumba. My full-time job is being a senior uh, software engineer. So I kind of, yeah, just do day-to-day. -day, I do backend. That's pretty much it. Sometimes front end. Hence why I don't like CSS. That can go on your gravestone. Day to day, I did back end. <laughs> Sometimes front end. <laughs> okay. Um, quick question about the bootcamp. How are the projects different to the pro subscription? Well, um, can you get the bootcamp up? Oh, it's there. Yeah. There are more of them. But um, we need to share the screen. Oh, yes. <laughs> there are more yeah. of them. And um, they're only available to bootcamp students. So the pro subscription does not get you access to the bootcamp projects. Also, yeah. in the bootcamp, you get to work on the group projects, which gives you practice using Git and GitHub, like in a professional environment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And you also will get uh, quite likely a much speedier code review and stuff like that. Yes, you will. Because that's kind of... You get guaranteed oh, code reviews yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Part of the deal. Indeed. Well, that's all we have time for. Join us in a couple of weeks. Keep an eye on the YouTube channel for that career chat live stream. Yes. And uh, have fun. I normally, I normally say enjoy your weekend, but obviously it hasn't been Friday for a while now. So. It doesn't need to be the weekend to have fun. Yes, exactly. Enjoy the rest of your week. You know? Totally. Smash it. Or don't. I mean, you're a free human being. You can do whatever. <laughs> you don't have to smash every week. Yes. Yes. But if you want to, go for it. Okay. Bye, everyone. And thanks for coming. See ya. <laughs>